Hi, hello my lovely students. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to start a new lesson of your math textbook part 2 that is decimal fractions. Open page number 35. Page number 35. Chapter 4 decimal fractions. So children already in your previous standards that is in the fourth standard you have learned about the decimal fractions right like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 etc like this isn't it. So in this lesson you are going to study about how to use these decimal fractions to express the length and the cost of the object okay. So here uh, after finishing this lesson you are going you will be able to understand these of the things express the length of an object in decimal fraction form use decimal fraction to express the length in centimeter use decimal fraction to express the length in meter use decimal fraction to express the cost in rupees express a given fraction in decimal notation express a decimal notation in fraction form is that clear yes so let's start so children can you tell me what is this yes of course it's a scale Right. So, here can you see the numbers on the scale? Yes, it will start from 0 to 15. Right. So, here in that one, if you start from here 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, like this. Here, if you see, there are a small 10 equal parts are there. Yes. So, see here, just take this 0 here. After this 0, can you see the small lines here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many small equal parts are there? There are 10 equal parts between each centimeter. So, this is 0 to 1, 1 centimeter. 1 to 2, 1 centimeter. 2 to 3, 1 centimeter. Right? So, between these 1 centimeter, there are 10 equal parts. Isn't it? So, we also we also write one tenth of a centimeter so this is one tenth this is the small part this is one tenth of a one cent this is whole is a one centimeter right so this one the small part from this bigger line to smaller uh, line that is a one tenth and again from this smaller line to the next smaller line, that is again one tenth okay so how you are going to write this one we are going to write as a 0 0.1 so this one we have to consider this is zero right from here to here if I ask you what will the length of this one, this is 0 0.1. Again, if I ask you to, from here to here, this is, you can read here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 0 0.5. Okay. Is that clear? That is centimeter. That is centimeter. Okay. Got it? Yes. So, now you know that how to read this number that is 0 0.5 or as you can read it as a 0 0.5 because here 0 is there so we can read it as a 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 both are correct got it children okay now i'll draw the line here will you tell me what is the length of this line yes can you tell me what is the length of this line can you see this line here yes it is 0 we have to start from 0 1 2 3 up to 3 if you see this line up to 3 it is clearly cross this 3 number right 3 centimeter after 3 centimeter it didn't reach to the 4 means it is lying between 3 to 4 so how you are going to write that is 0 1 2 3 so 3 next you have to count this number line small lines 1 2 3 4 5 yes point five so that is 3.5 centimeter cm means you know that that is centimeter right so that is 3.5 centimeter got it children yes so here can you tell me the answer now we'll draw one more line yes can you tell me here is it visible to you yes i hope so here one 2, 3, 4, 5. If you see, this line is crossed up to the 5. So, means 5. Right. After the 5, didn't reach to the 6. Means it is lying between 5 and 6. So, you have to see this where it is there. The line that is here. So, how many lines are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4, sorry, 5.4 centimeter. Got it. Children, can you see this one? Here we are having one example. So, there are two fields are there. Okay. In each field, there are 10 columns are there. If you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 columns are there in both the field okay so the krishna has planted a sampling in 
two fields and if you see here in one field he has planted the whole trees in the whole field in the all the 10 columns but in the second one if you see he has planted only three tenth you can see three three tenth means there are one two tenth are there ten columns are there he has only planted the three columns right so he has planted only the three columns so here how you are going to write in the fraction form so here it is there is a whole one field is planted so we are going to write as a one and if you see the second one how many uh, columns are planted here in the 10th column there is only one two three three columns right so three by ten this is how you are going to write in the fraction form right so we can write this in another form that we call it as the decimal form right so how you are going to write in the decimal form already you know that right so before writing this one i'll show you a small example here children is it visible to you 5 by 10 how you are going to read it 5 by 10 right so this is in the fraction form and you know that this is called as a numerator and this is called as a denominator right so how you are going to write it in a decimal form so here you can see how many zeros are there here one zero is there right first you have to see the numerator what is the numerator here? Only 5 is there. A single digit is there, right? A single digit is there. So, we are going to write 5. Next. Now, come to the denominator. How many zeros are there here? Only one zero is there. So, you have to put the decimal point. You have to put the, this, this is called as a decimal point. This point is called as a decimal point. Okay. This is called as a decimal point. So, where you have to put the decimal point after a digit because here we are having a one single zero. So, here already we have written this numerator 5. Then you have to put a zero, sorry, a point. That is a decimal point. Now, you have to see the numerator. Do you have any number here around this 5? No, we don't have any number. So, we have to put the zero. So, what is the answer? 0 0.5 or 0 0.5. We will take one more example. Then you come to know. We will take 8 by 100. This is a fraction form. How you are going to write in the decimal form? So, first you have to write the numerator as it is. Now, you have to come to the denominator. See how many zeros are there? 1, 2. 2 zeros are there. Here, we are having only one digit. We have to put the point after two digit. Now, what you are going to do? Here, do we have any other number along with this 8? No, we don't have, right? So, what we are going to write here? Here, we will write a 0. Then, two digits are there? 8, 0. How many zeros are there here? 2. So, 1, 2. Then put the point. Then, do we have any number? No. So, 0. So, 0 0.08 is your answer. Got it? Okay. Now, we will take one more example. 13.100. Yes. 13.100. How are you going to write in the decimal form? So, first, as I told you, I had to write the numerator. As it is. Then, how many zeros are there in the denominator? 1, 2. So, 1, 2. We are having 2 digits already. So, point. Do we have any other digits here? No, we don't have. So, point. So, 0 0.13 is your answer. Got it, children? How to convert the fraction into the decimal form when you are having this uh, 100, like 10, 100,000, 10,000 as a denominator. Got it? Yes. Now, come back to this example. Already we have written this in the fraction form. How you are going to write in the decimal form? That is, 1 and 3 by 10. Here I am going to write it. 1 and 3 by 10. How you are going to write in the decimal form? Yes. So here same you have to apply. First you have to write the numerator. Then how many zeros are there? 1 zero is there. Means you have to put the point after one digit. So 3 point. The, huh, you have to remember one more thing while writing the decimal form. Always you have to start writing from the right to the left it always go from the right to the left okay so three here three we have written then you have written the point then now you have to see whether do you have any number along with this one yes you have one right so we write one one point three one point three got it children yes so here if you see i will give one more example two six by 26 by 10. How you are going to write in the decimal form? Yes. Can you tell me? Yes. So, here we will write 6. 
वन जीरो इज देर सो पॉइंट देन टू वी आर हैविंग सो टू पॉइंट सिक्स ओके सो इफ यू टेक दिस नंबर टू पॉइंट सिक्स हियर दिस टू वी कॉल्ट एज अ इंटीग्रल पार्ट दिस इज वी कॉल्ट एज अ इंटीग्रल पार्ट ओके एंड दिस वी कॉल्ट एज अ डेसिमल पार्ट okay so the digit left of the point the digit on the left of the point this we called as a integral part the digit after the point we called as a decimal part understood yes and this is your decimal point right this is decimal point i hope this much is clear to you okay now let's move to the exercise part so exercise 4.1 read the following decimals and write them in words okay 0.5 0.13 1.7 5.21 so here are the example you have to read this already we have read it this is in the decimal form and write them in a words how you are going to write you have to write them in a words only okay so let's do it here already i have written here yes can you see here Read the following decimals and write them in words. So first one is the zero point five. Okay, so zero point five. You have to write in a words. Zero. You know the spellings of zero point p o i n t point five. Okay. Next, how you are going to read this one? Zero point zero point one three. Ah, see here, children. One, three. As I told you, this we call it as what? This is the integral part, and this is the decimal point, and these are the decimal part, isn't it? So here, in the integral part, if you are having the numbers, you have to read as a whole number. For example, if thirteen point eight seven. Okay. So suppose here, if you see this one in the integral part before the point, whatever the number you will have, that you have to read as a whole. For example, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen, twenty-eight, thirty-four, like that. Whatever. Okay. So after the point, how you are going to write? You are not supposed to read it as a eighty-seven, thirteen point eighty-seven. No, you have to read it as a thirteen point eight seven. You have to re read it separately. Eight seven or uh, see here twenty-eight point nine three. Twenty-eight. See, I am reading it as a whole in the integral part, right? You have to read it as a whole number. After the point, you have to separate the numbers. Twenty-eight point nine three or uh, thirty point one zero eight. Okay. However, number it will be. You have to read it as a separately. But before the point, whatever the number you have, you have to read it as a whole. For example, two hundred and eight point eight zero. See two hundred and eight point eight zero. I am reading as a whole two hundred and eight point eight zero. I am not reading it as a eighty eight zero. Got it? Yes. Now come to the third one. That is how you are going to read one point. After the one we are having point seven. Yes, C V N seven. Next, how you are how you are going to write this one? Ha huh, is five point two one. So just write it as a five point two one. Okay. Five point C five point two one two one got it yes now let's move to the second me write the numeral representing each of the following here we are having in a words now you have to write in a numeral numerical numbers okay so here first one zero point one two So already have written here. You can see. Yes. So zero point one two. How you are going to write zero point one two one two one two. Okay. See. Don't get any of the confusion that here I am writing from the left to right because I am writing the given number as it is. But if they have given in the fraction form, for example, twelve by ten, okay, twelve by ten. How you are going to write this one or twelve by hundred? Write as a twelve by hundred. How you are going to write in the 
decimal form then you have to start from right to left okay while writing from in the decimal form from fraction to decimal okay here i am writing directly so i am writing from the left to the right so here how you are going to write one 12 then point from right side okay 1 2 1 2 then we are not having any of the numbers so just put the zero this is how you have to write okay from fraction to decimal got it yes so next one 6.8 6.8 10.5 10.5 4.02 see 4.02 got it yes so, children, hope you understood till here. Okay. So, children, in uh, next class, we are going to start with the next main that is from the third main. Okay. Before going to the third main, we will learn some of the uh, concepts behind of this one. Okay. So, till then, take care of yourself. Be with me. If you find this video is useful to you, then don't forget to like. Share with your friends and do subscribe the channel. Okay. And if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Bye-bye.